endocrine covers the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal gland, the pancreas, the ovaries, the testes. It, what the endocrine system does, it provides an extracellular communication and it uses hormones to regulate between the cells and the body function. All right. So what it does, it secretes hormones in very small amounts directly into the bloodstream stream. And so they regulate many physiological activities such as the reproductive system, the metabolic system, growth and maturation, electrolytes, water and nutrients balance, and also to the balance between behavior and energy. So we have, there are, the endocrine system is regulated by several methods. We have the autonomic nervous system. And what this does, these are changes, the changes in concentration or any kind of specific substance in the plasma. And it uses something called a negative feedback system. So let me explain to you what a negative feedback, sorry, system is. A negative feedback system is like our thermometer in our house. So say, for example, we set our thermometer at 75, but the current temperature is 80. The air condition is going to kick in and it's going to give out cold air until the place becomes cool to 75. Once the temperature in the house turns 75, the air condition is going to shut off. So that's what the negative feedback system is is that there are certain levels in our body, um, hormone levels. And so when it reached that therapeutic amount or the amount that should be in the body, then the organ or the endocrine system is not going to produce anymore because it's at the level that it's supposed to be. So we have the parasympathetic and the sympathetic system. Now, in, a, in the sympathetic system, our pupils are dilated, which allows us to see very clearly. There is decreased saliva. And, and this is like the fight or flight. This part is when we're getting ready, are we gonna fight or are we gonna run? So if you notice, you've never seen someone in a panic attack and they have a lot of fluids. There is a decreased flow of saliva, the heart beat faster, there's a dilation of the bronchioles. Not only that, there's no peristalsis going on, inhibit peristalsis and secretion. Now, there is a conversion. They convert gl glycogen to glucose for energy because whether you're going to run or whether you're going to fight, you're going to need energy. And also, too, in this sense, there's a secretion of adrenaline, and neo which is neoprenephrine, that is needed for fight or flight, and also too, it inhibits bladder contraction. So the parasympathetic is like when everything is now calmed down, slower heart rate, constrict bronchioles, stimulate peristalsis, stimulate release of bile, and also contraction. So it's like the opposite, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic.